welcome to Toffee TV. We were joined in the studio by Nick Maynock, the chair of the Everton <laughs> Band Forum. Forum. Uh, Nick, Don't thanks worry. for joining us. Thanks for having uh, us. A lot of people listen to your wonderful it's podcast. Yeah. Although I was, you know, stepping on our toes a little bit there, I felt you know just oh, no, overreaching, no, no. overreaching what you should be actually doing. I don't more, more sort of reflective nod no. to what you're creating, guys. Rather no, it was than, a, uh, yeah. it was a good, really nice chat with uh, Robert Elston discussing the the stadium. Yeah. Appreciate um, it, thanks. Yeah, it's, uh, just getting across a lot of our feelings. I think. I mean, you know, what were, what were your, you know, your thoughts coming away from from the meeting? I was really quite pleased with it because it, 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 it was quite open, I mean to be fair to Roberts and, and I know people will go oh it's probably rehearsed and whatever else, it mm. wasn't, you know, I went, he put the time in the diary, your questions, so what we did was we, we tried to construct the stuff that people may be aware, we went out again at the Watford game sort of giving the, uh, the leaflets out so we could get people to register their interest and, and begin to give us the comments around how they want to be communicated by in relation to the stadium and what, you know, do you want to do it by email, do you want to come to meetings and start to get mm. that kind of recognition and within those conversations people picking up a leaflet and giving us views on grounds and asking questions about some of the key issues. Yeah. So it was a case really of, of, of trying to use what hopefully is one of a couple now to, to try and deal with what the main concerns that were raised with us by the fans as we were having a chat around which was around you know the, the capacity was a big one the naming rights and um, all those sort of areas that came across and and to be fair to robert he, he, he you know he didn't duck anything and, and i thought he was quite open and honest particularly his criticism of like city and arsenal mm. and their moves which mm. was again mirrored an awful lot of what people are saying and i know you guys got the same views around it it's it's it's, it's gotta still be that, that right atmosphere and that home end and all those kind of things. So yeah, to be fair to him, he was he was dead open and honest. Yeah, I, I thought you know, just on a good point there. I thought yeah. is the, the balance of um, of how the commercial side against yeah. the fan side was absolutely spot on. Yeah. And almost in a way, just you know, you look at these clubs and you yeah. just think you're doing it wrong for a commercial sense, but mm -hmm. by doing it wrong commercially, that seems like a poor. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. it should, should, you should have a home end with. Yeah. 16, 17,000 in, you should yeah. you should look after the fans and if you look after the fans, they'll look after you and I just think some clubs have got it backwards yeah. and it's it doesn't seem to be in the long term for the no. best of them. They'll no. do well out of the day tippers as we say. Yeah, but um, I thought he was spot on with what he said because it yeah. is about putting the fans who look after you every, you know, yeah. every day uh, first. I think he recognises, to be fair to him, you know the, the the nucleus of the fan base and it's exactly as you yeah. describe it, it, it it's sort of people that have loved the club hella high water mm. and will continue to come back regardless of as we've all described and seeing the ups and downs that we've we, we have over our careers watching everton and i think he gets that and whilst yes as a chief exec there's got to be the income generation no, obviously the, the naming rights because I think one of the things we were pushing slightly was around well you know you look at Man City and they sort of whilst it's called the Etihad mm. there's, there's that Eastlands undertone and could there be a Bramley Mall thing and, and he recognises that's where the big income yeah. generation is but at the same time the home end and, and, and keeping those fans is, is, is spot on and you can put your corporate commercial stuff as I guess he said with, within reasonable views mm. half you know either side or even back at that the away end if that's where the away end goes you know it's it i think you're spot on i think for me the diff slightly diff the difference with bramley moore will be obviously yeah. manchester city was a yeah. athletic stadium yeah, wasn't yeah. it and yeah. they've although they've done well to to improve it and yeah. they've yeah. added the building yeah. to it i think yeah. ours is you know will be football specific won't it and yeah. obviously there's the commonwealth games thing yeah. which some people and to <laughs> pleased about but yeah. you know we'd like to think that that's those questions have been answered by us by uh, everybody Absolutely. else with yeah. it in terms of how that's going to work so i think yeah. it, it is to me that's where the difference is we are creating yeah. a football stadium yeah. you know it, it's a big thing obviously even goodison park it's Absolutely. you know it, it pulls on the heart yeah, when you course. think about it but yeah. it's it's time to go yeah the, the aspects of the new stadium, I mean, yeah. I, I want to see the Arty Board League stuff, you know, yeah, put it and not to that at least, yeah, obviously yeah. it can't be identical mm. as we move forward, but no. things like that I yeah. think can, can help bridge that, I think bridge that gap between the way we are now, yeah. where we are, yeah. and going into a new home. I don't think anyone wants to go into a, a soulless bowl, I think no. that the no. statement is, isn't it? Yeah. But I think anything like that we can incorporate, yeah. I think we'll, we'll bridge that gap and we'll make it feel like ours 
almost immediately. I think you're right, and and that was a, a clear tone when we were speaking to fans. You know, people had just recently visited West Ham and were like yeah. so yeah, appalled yeah. by the, the, you know, the the, the, sort of the, the atmosphere, stadium, this, another athletic mm, stadium, yeah. but but sort of the whole area around it as yeah. well. They'd done nothing with it. They'd literally just like moved there, hadn't they? Yeah, and, yeah. and and squatted for want of <laughs> yeah. opinion, and and you you can't do that. So you're right. You know, for me, that was another thing around the Commonwealth Games. Liverpool get it brilliant but mm. it can't detract from Everton so yeah. and I think you know what you probably picked up was you know, Robert's view is, is well if we have to put a running track in that'll be good but it'll be a case of it'll be in for six or seven weeks and it'll be straight mm, out again yeah. and those seats will still be up as close to the ground as we can yeah. and I think hopefully that allayed quite a few fears because people's main concerns were we were going to be moving to that and then as you say those domes or those Meccano sets without mm. being rude, your Boltons, your Wiggins and all that, where they just yeah. look like they've been clipped together and made out of Lego. You can't do stuff like that either. It's, it, you know, we've got an opportunity to have a unique ground that's going to be so much folks photographed as people do the waterfront. Mm, yeah. The big blue stadium sat on the end of it. Yeah. It's such an opportunity. So, But it, it, it's, you know, we, we're clear with Robert, it, it's got to be done through a level of consultation and communication that at least makes fans feel that they've, they've had a say in it and, and mm. you, you know not everyone's view is going to be incorporated but it, it, it's got to be moved in that direction and that's probably the next stages now is looking at how we do that you know do that through meetings around the Merseyside area or, or however people feel it's the most appropriate way and obviously through yourselves and through that open communication. When you talk about the consultation yeah. um, do, do, do you think that would be more reflecting on the internal aspects of it and 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 just you know because you go and go this and now you yeah. look, you go in the concourse you show yeah. the pictures and all the old yeah. things do you think it'll be a lot more like that or or do you think or do you feel like fans want ownership of the design as well because that's what worries me slightly yeah. is that yeah. if fans start trying to take over the ownership of what a stadium will look like yeah that that worries me because i think yeah. Everton have appointed a man who yeah. seems to get the club yeah. seems to understand what 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 Goodison's about, yeah. and we'll, we'll use all that. Yeah. Uh, and as I've said before, I think if the fans get hold of that kind of aspect, it'll end up like Homer's car. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, <laughs> that's, not, that's a lovely the, analogy. The, 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 the all the yeah. internal stuff and yeah. how yeah. how it'll be used on a, like the fan, you know, the fan zone and all that. Yeah. That's yeah. brilliant. The fans should all own Excuse all me. that. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't really want the fans to sign no. the stadium. I really don't. I don't think. No. Surely though, that's what no, but that's what I'm asking, Nick. Yeah. That, you know, no, that's a fair comment, and I, and I think you know, there are some people out there who probably would do a little Homer Simpson <laughs> drawing on a piece of cardboard yeah. and send it in. You know, Nick Murnock, age fifty-six and a half. Can you have a look at that? It's but I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Give him take a half, mm. but. It, yeah, you 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 spot on. I think you know there, there's there's often cognizance to views, but those views are more generic. Around yeah. for God's sake, don't make it look like West Ham or yeah, don't yeah. have a, a bowl where it all floats out like Arsenal or yeah. whatever else. But you're right, Dan's coming in, people trust him, and I think he's done a lot of work to get that trust. Yeah, I think you're right. That is, people will go well. I have aspirations of a big attendance, and that was again one of the things with Robert. And I think you know the, the, there's there's listening to that kind of thing, but you. The, the bulk of the work will yeah. be look this is what it's going to look like what do you think not you know where do you want to put a glass window in there or a little the, the rest is is then that bigger picture which is still a massive opportunity mm. which is around we've got a fan zone we've got now with no disrespect is severely limited and overpriced in a lot of people's yeah, minds yeah it's, the yeah. opportunity to have that ground around yeah. it where you can use you know local produce yeah, local yeah. brewers you know you can get beers that that's limitless in how you do that and the stuff that goes mm. around it is and again that's what we want to pick up with some of the fans yeah, you because, know. i mean the 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 obviously the area down there now yeah. it's become not only is there going to be a new stadium but the yeah. area down there is expanding yeah. and if you look at um somewhere like the the baltic triangle how that's expanded and how yeah. that has used those those yes. liverpool produce and uh, the baltic market and, yeah. and how uh, the the beer scene and all these yeah. things it would yeah. be great if all of them yeah. um, and I, you know Robert did mention them last week yeah. and that's fair fair yeah. fair play to them. getting away from the big burger van side of things yeah. you know what I mean no, just just because just yeah. uh, yeah. I think that creates creates a, a different atmosphere going into the match a very it modern does. atmosphere yeah. but also very traditional atmosphere as yeah. well because if you're gonna have this stadium and it's gonna be because uh, the setting is the have a burger van though. No, you can't. Every mate. football club has a bit. <laughs> Get away from the bit. You <laughs> do. The hot, them hot dog fellas from uh, <laughs> outside the lobster pot, they were sound as well. You would never have one, but they just yeah. do. Where do you wash their hands? Where do you wash their hands? Everyone used to say, yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. You feel that that is all being incorporated. So it it goes past the stadium. Yeah. Things like the the fact that the fans almost mentioned. I thought that straight away. I thought I'm on board with that. So, um, I'm I'm really encouraged by stuff like that. That the thinking past. Yeah. Just how to fill a stadium. Another key area to it is 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 trying to move and and work with the Everton collection and find somewhere where that can come as well. It's been, you know tragically just locked up in a vault for mm. far too long and and you know whilst people may mock the idea of a museum full say but it, it's sort of Everton needs to be used all day every day Definitely, and hopefully yeah. it will and you'll have your visitors that are come in and your ground tours and whatever else then to then have something that might be a, a coffee bar or mm. whatever but um, corporate to museum it, it, it's 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 sort of quite limited that pulls people in of course it does people yeah. can say yeah. i mean we've had dr david francin quite a few times yeah, and we've, yeah. dis- we've talked about this yeah. on and off camera the need for yeah. the museum and yeah, yeah. whether people you yeah. want to dress it up as a museum or not yeah, yeah. that a lot of those things should be on display and yeah. you go anywhere yeah anywhere i go there's a football yeah. stadium or whatever i'll yeah. go and see me absolutely missus has yeah. been dragged everywhere you know wherever <laughs> we've been to go and yeah. look at Yeah. I'm looking at this ground, you know, and I like to see the nets and all that. That's yeah. how sad I am. But I think that will pull people in. Yeah. And and one of the things we've said, and, and when I worked at Everton, we, we yeah. tried the, yeah. the the cafe option yeah. a couple yeah. of times, in the, and it never really took off because it was wasn't advertised properly, or yeah. there was no kind of natural yeah. way to go in, and and, mm. and yeah. you know you go up and sit in a lounge somewhere and yeah. have a, a bacon, but it, it doesn't. Really work, but if you've got somewhere that yeah. has that option and it yeah. also has, you know, a, a viewing place for to exactly. see all of this old stuff and the historical stuff, yeah. and we are, you know, we should be proud of our history because like you know, let's stop locking it away. Yeah. You know, well, I'm the same as you. I think you know, and, and and sort of been taking my son since he's four, and you go around the grounds and you know, you go to Sunderland and well, who's that? And you so you explain mm. the Bob Stoke bit yeah, and, yeah. and all that kind of stuff, and there's a story that goes with it, and and that's got to be what we've got to do. So yeah, you know, the the okay. People may mock there's not a loads of trophies in there, but there's Alan Ball's boots and caps and all those kind of things that we can get out of the collection that, that is conversation pieces. Let's get for some replica trophies in a cat. Let's yeah, yeah. just replicate them and put them in and go see all them. <laughs> that's what we have one. No all this blood. Yeah. Not that yeah. cup one is cut one though, because that's terrible. Um, <laughs> the cup one is cut. Though that's the mock replica of it. The cup one is cut. <laughs> awful. <laughs> it's awful. I had okay. It's when we've won the cup one is cut. <laughs> no, we play. No, but you're right. We had all, yeah. all the blood and angle, doesn't the cup. You're right though, it's it, it's not it doesn't matter who, who, what anyone else thinks no. it's our history, our history so exactly. why don't you know and it's got some of I, I, I'm going to say this on camera now. <laughs> I've been in Liverpool's museum <laughs> right okay I was getting paid to do it right <laughs> I was working for MTV there you go that gets me out of it um, and I've been round it Muppet TV yeah Muppet TV <laughs> yeah it was yeah I was big bird yeah. um, <laughs> But you you walk around and it's like yeah. I've been in Barcelona's as well. Oh like, and it's, no, that got yeah. you out of it. Yeah. Yeah. MTV <laughs> just put you deeper yeah. in it, mate. No. <laughs> but it's an interactive experience. Yeah. You're yeah. you've got you're seeing, you know, or something even like the Beatles Museum. Yeah. You're yeah. seeing and you're feeling it. Yeah. You're you're getting an an, an idea of of yeah. what happened. Yeah. With, you know, even Liverpool, the Liverpool Museum. You walk yeah. around that, you get a feel for. Yeah. There's different sounds and yeah. you know aspects and. Yeah. You get a feel for how history yeah. was, and Everton yeah. have got has got so, so much, much history yeah, yeah. that's actually attached yeah. to the game. I mean, yeah. that's what brings about David France. I'd, yeah. We bring him in here, and obviously yeah. we've got the Reds next door. And they yeah. go, who's that? And I go, do you know who that is? That's the fellow who owns half of your history <laughs> yeah. because he does. <laughs> yeah. He owns Absolutely. half of Liverpool's history yeah. because yeah. he has all the documents. He owns the bit when they were Grimsby, you know, pre nineteen sixty five, and they had yeah. the same history as Grimsby. But he owns yeah. half the stuff that sells yeah. them. Yeah. How they become Liverpool, yeah. you know how it all happened, and yeah. and and, and, I, mm. and they go, oh yeah, you know, you you forget that Everton. Yeah. I know we people mock it, but all the yeah. things about the nets and the numbers and all that stuff. Well, the yeah. soil eating. And that's all part of football history, so and there's no yes. reason why that shouldn't be put out there for for everyone to see. You know, no. Dixie Dean. Yeah. I mean, Dixie Dean should have a. I know he's getting a hotel, but he should have, have a film. He should have yeah. stuff about him as well, and there's all yes. these things. Yeah. You know, you think about uh, the Golden Vision. You can have the Golden yeah. Vision just playing on a loop. Well, that's it. But you might have to cut certain parts out. But um, <laughs> no, but you, you just all these things at Everton's yeah. history. You've yeah. said Alan Ball, World yeah. Cup winner. Yeah. We go and sign the best player. Alan Bailey Wicks. 
You've hit the nail on the head, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, that just pales it into insignificance. You've got, you're not <laughs> selling out and buying the wigs that Mr. Right. And for all these things, yeah. and I've said it myself, yeah. I've brought, you know, I've had visitors over from America and they go, yeah. Oh, let's we'll go to Goodison. Yeah. It's not a match day, mate. There's no point. There's yeah. no point going up there. Yeah. So we're gonna have this I'm sure all these things are in there, but if we're gonna have this yeah. big thing, it's you as you say, yeah. it's gotta be used. The, we're on a a water we're gonna be on a waterfront yeah, that cruise line is yeah. coming in. Yeah. If you're on that mm. ship and you go yeah. past this amazing stadium with, yeah. and I hope it's got big massive Everton badges on it yeah. I don't care Little, I want, there's blue I want there's it there colors. just yeah, there yeah, absolutely I want the live birds blue yeah. even if it's just lamps <laughs> but you're coming past and you go yeah. oh, look at the stadium yeah, yeah. there and yeah. there's a museum and there's yeah. a you know and, yeah. and shirts you know that's that's yeah as much as we we mock them yeah you know you see them all the bags and all that you know we're missing this, the trick, we, we are right. missing the trick yeah, and yeah. if we're, we're trying to bounce us all over the world which yeah. obviously yeah. far atmosphere he wants to do and yeah. we all yeah. need to need to get on but we need to move away from oh, we're everton and we're just this little community and we don't care yeah. about anyone else because no. we're liverpool and we're in england yeah. it, that's got to go if we want to yeah. win things and get yeah. back to winning things yeah it, the landscape has changed and i think yeah. something like a museum-y type thing yeah. that's gonna make people like you've yeah. just said there. I've done the same thing. People come down to good. Yeah. We had a fella here yesterday from Sean from down south. And, nice. Yeah. You know he's there with his family. Now if he goes down to Goodison, yeah. he's gonna see Mark the Stewart who's probably he's been ever about thirty. Yeah. You know, walking yeah. around, it's nothing to yeah. see. You look at it and go, oh yeah, there's the grand, there's the outside of the stadium. Yeah. Got little kids in them, but yeah. you take him in and there's something playing on the telly for them and there's yeah. different things you know it's somewhere to go and, and yeah. meet other people and, and talk about it and it's that football experience it's like you say you know i'm, I'm, I'm spot on I agree with you and there's part of the confessional i've done the man united tour and that quite easily could just be about trophies but it isn't mm. there's mm. a really big bit on the munich disaster and all the papers and so you walk through that section there's a load of shirts and that so it's as much around the heritage and the history and, and that's exactly what it should be it isn't around mm. who's got the most cups well, it's around it. what have you done to influence football and Everton has done it to such a degree. We've had Pele yeah. playing on us. We've had Cup, all that kind R9. of stuff. Yeah, yeah, R9, R9 yeah. played there. Yeah. Remember, I was there. I met him, met him yeah. a day you before. Oh, he's got one up, though. I do, because <laughs> you know who else I met? <laughs> oh, I forgot his name, the, the kid who went to Arsenal, the uh, the Japanese fellow. Oh, yeah, well known, mate. well known, yeah. Um, <laughs> I loved it, he was good. No, but <laughs> I think people, amazing. it's yeah. funny, you're right what you're saying there, because people actually nowadays, they fall in love with the 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 stories of football yeah, absolutely you know yeah. you've just mentioned yeah. you've just mentioned Munich yeah yeah the, the the what happened at Munich and what happened after Munich and the yeah. story of how yeah. Man United grew and and became that 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 has a romanticism about them that that attracted fans yeah. Yeah. to Manchester mm. United it's a sad story yeah, of ultimately yeah. ended with them winning the European Cup yeah. and you, you, you'd be amazed how many fans you can attract by yeah. by having just sharing the story of, I mean yeah. Dick, Dixie Dean on its own is, is yeah. you know you think about Dixie Dean and what he did yeah. and and yeah, what he can, overcome and, yeah. and all yeah. these things and yeah. even the thing with like the Nazis and all stuff like yeah. that you think yeah. you could have a film about it yeah. I mean it's great that you know he's on the back of the shirt and all that and yeah, it's, it's yeah. sometimes hard for Everton as a club to get that over to other people yeah. who don't appreciate yeah. but if you actually had this big part of a museum yeah. this section about him yeah. that tells the story of him yeah. and that's where I'm not saying we're going wrong because we, we don't have the facilities to do that at the moment but, yeah. but that's what we that's where better, we could go yeah. better yeah. Uh, obviously a little studio for us in the, in the studium yeah, as well you know? um, overlooking overlooking the river as well but these are <laughs> These are key things I think yeah. that Everton, yeah. not saying they're missing a the trick, they just yeah. haven't been able to. There's not been the capacity to be yeah, able to do it with yeah. what we've had, you know, because we, we have looked as part of the fans forum of, of, of buying properties around Goodison mm. to make sort of somewhere where you supporters clubs can use them. <laughs> but uh, they, they've probably missed out on a couple that yeah. they could have had as well, mm. you know, but um, they're buying another tail. Mm. But you're right, you, you're always looking at it's not quite within the vicinity, or, or whereas now. There is this multifunctional option of a number of rooms, mm. and you're right, you know, the different areas, and it, it, it's it's limitless, but you can't miss the trick now. And it, this is around the timing and keeping that momentum. Yeah. And the best way to do it is by having a number of ideas, because mm. not a single one of us will get everything right, but a lot of people will suddenly come up with something. Oh, you do all right <laughs> at the minute, no? Uh, but I, I, think right. what, I think what yeah. is good, though, yeah. is. Yeah. Sorry, Bats. I think what is good yeah. is, though, yeah. that. That we can in a motor was name. That's we can <laughs> in a motor. That was a mobile. That was a, that was a mobile. <laughs> Arsenal midfield player. In a motor. <laughs> it was. 
Um, we can learn from yeah. other clubs' mistakes. Yeah, that's that's where that's what's yeah. good is that we can learn from other cl- clubs' yeah. mistakes. Now yeah. you talk about West Ham. Yeah, that is just a mistake. Yeah. Um, you can look at all those different factors yeah. and think well, we can get it absolutely spot on here yeah, because is. we yeah. can take the best bits yeah. of other clubs. Yeah. And bring them all together. Like yeah. you look, you look at someone like the Etihad. It looks yeah. like a great stadium, yeah. but it doesn't have that true home end, which is a big thing. And then you can go yeah. to somewhere like uh, you know Dortmund and go look yeah. at their home end yeah. and, and incorporate all those aspects. And yeah. I think that's the timing couldn't be better actually for this stadium. No. I mean, that's not an excuse, but, <laughs> no, but I think, I think <laughs> what, what you were yeah. touching on is right because, like you say, it's not that we've done it wrong, but yeah. every. The landscape now for us, yeah. it's, it's a really exciting time. You know, we've, you know, we signed eleven players this transfer window, you know, for, know. which is inc- <laughs> it's unheard of for us, and we, we get we seem to be yeah. moving forward in yeah. that direction. Yeah. And just the fact that the stadium is going yeah. along as well, yeah. it, this is a really exciting time mm-hmm. for to be an Evertonian. That you know, there's 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 hope again. Yeah, you know, and to me Star Wars and all like, no, no, don't no. don't bother. Yeah. But there's hope, you know, when you hope and not. A film and you hope that was called. Just stop the last one. Well, yeah, just stop talking. The first films. three were great. Yeah, yeah. stop talking about films. You yeah. don't shut up. <laughs> but it's, I it's a great <laughs> opportunity for us yeah. to move forward with that and then incorporate all of this yeah. stuff. You know, want to be just what, what you thought as well was the other thing I would the say. There's a, a the exciting part is the time frame as well. Yeah. But normally yeah, yeah. it's like well, in about ten years' time, and I'm thinking, oh God, will I be able to get to the ground by then at my age? But it's within Elon three Musk years, got yeah. that big tunnel by him, won't yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shooting it, <laughs> yeah. <there. laughs> War, electric workplaces, <laughs> all kinds, just like me. Yeah, LA days, LA days, got this from an hour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. Got but made up. Damn, he's probably played the part. I just, it is, it is. No, no. I think you're spot on. It's the time. Frame is exciting again, yeah, and of yeah, course you look yeah. at it and you think, yeah, that we can buy into that because yeah. it's, it's it's visible, it's isn't it? Yeah, the corner, yeah, you know, absolutely. Yeah. Everything. I mean, listen, let's be honest, we love one big ears by then. The champions as we go into that sound, yeah, but yeah. you never know. Yeah, you never know. It is. It, yeah. it is. But yeah. we done a, a, a video on rail standing. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Rail seating, as it's yeah, called. Yeah. What are your thoughts about that? I, I think it's it's something that, that inevitably is is going to be considered as part and parcel. I mean, you, mm. you go back to the the AGM and the chairman gave the undertaking at, at that particular time that he'd look at it. Yeah. I think realistically, I'm not sure it'll happen in Goodison Park because I think okay. maybe the, the, the yeah, cost not, of doing not, it in yeah. the last couple yeah. of years is probably yeah. not going to yeah. outweigh what, yeah. what you get yeah, around it. Weird. But that obviously, point. as as you move forward into the new stadium, the, the two or three years as we move forward, then obviously a change to legislation, a trial somewhere. Yeah. Mm. I think it's inevitability, and I yeah. think you know my personal point of view is I think there is a, a lot of people that would embrace it, and yeah. I think you know there's, there's clearly the opportunity as you build the ground because the last thing is that the actual plastic seats yeah, will go in, yeah. so it gives you a lot of a good time frame of which to move into well, it. Yeah, and then clearly you know I can only go, you know, listen, my son and his mates mm. and all that that they they would love that sort of Dortmund yeah. desk, and I think it really would be popular. Was it only, we were saying well, we did a poll, yes, yeah. we did yeah. a poll, yeah. And it, it's uh, three thousand four hundred and twenty-seven. Eighty-four yeah. percent agree with it. Yeah. And and as we've just been saying, yeah. time frames are yeah. perfect for us. Yeah. Yeah. If this is something that will come into football, yeah. you know, over the next two or three years, yeah. that you know the sta- the stadium will be perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. And you know, I, I, we we discussed. You know, there are so many emotive dis- yeah. things that go around it, but it is becoming an open discussion. Yeah. And obviously, the Liverpool fans doing it. Yeah. Uh, you know, takes takes you know they, you take their side of it, and they've gone eighty eight percent of nearly eighteen yeah, thousand. So thousand, so yeah, you, you yeah. look at it from that point, and you yeah. think it is. We are talking about it now. It yeah. it, it, it does because for us, mm-hmm. seeing we spoke about it, it's actually the 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 next evolution. Yeah. You know, in football, we've all been there in stadiums, stand yeah. standing when you're supposed to be sitting. Yeah, yeah. This takes that away, and yeah. there are you know we talk about atmosphere at Goodison Park. Yeah. At times, it can be absolutely amazing but yeah. we all know at times it can actually yeah. be be poor so yeah. yeah i think i think a section needs to be um discussed certainly love you know. that i mean it's we yeah. we were saying you know it's, it's happening at celtic they've yeah. got theirs and it's yeah. working yeah. Bolton, germany you yeah. know there's, there's clubs mm-hmm. lower down the yeah. scene um tottenham were trialing it in this yeah. trial and what it was like yesterday yeah. or yeah. the day before yeah doing their stuff so it's and i think that the supposed the, the beauty of it is the seats can be unlocked and, and put down as seats anyway. Yes, so yeah. I think it it would be silly to 
to just brush over it and, and yeah. because it's an opportunity with going into the new stadium. I'm with you. Yeah. I don't think it could happen at Goldersnip. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't yeah. happen at Goldersnip. Yeah. There'd be no, there'd be no point really given the time scale. By if the it time was you get it in, we'd be exactly yeah, out, exactly. But, you know, so, so there's a realism to it, but there's yeah. also a, a clear there's an opportunity that you've well. got to be aware yeah. of it, and we've got to look at it. Yeah. And I think you know, I think you're right, Pat. You know, we've had sort of not quite safe standing at away matches for the last three or four years as people stand up getting pushed over the other seats but people want to do it and you listen to a lot of fans say the atmosphere is better at away matches and is it because people stand up it's probably an element Mm. of it that goes into that well we all we all remember when it was it wasn't very safe to stand (laughs) up when we you'd score and end up 40 foot down there or whatever so and and that has changed as well just the way it's laid out that that safety aspect which has got to be paramount it's far more realistic as well as you say the rail seat will work across the board because you're right you know I remember taking my wife to uh, a semi-final match at Villa against Luton and she didn't see any of the goals because she just wasn't used to going with the flow yeah, and whereas just... you could stand up with a rail mm. seat and it's so it's moved it, it, it's got it's got a number of dynamic elements that people mm. will love it and I think the younger support will, will get yeah. into it it's, I mean it's, yeah. I think yeah. the major thing is yeah. as long as it's being spoke about yeah. I mean as long yeah. as it's yeah. part of the discussion yeah. and it's not being you know, ignore them. I mean, again, we spoke no. about this yesterday. Yeah. You know, there was a time when if you asked mm. Bill, yeah, he did, you know, he didn't want to entertain the subject. No. But then this year, like, yeah, there's probably. been a softening of yeah. it, and that's because the conversation has moved along. And yeah. as long as we're part of the conversation, mm. and as long as you know, Liverpool fans feel like they want to be part of yeah. the conversation, then that's great. I yeah. think we're going in the right way. We've got to. I think for most things, you've got to have the conversation. There's yeah. no point burying your head in the sand and just going, yeah. this is just going to disappear. No. Because if other people are talking about it, then yeah. it's likely to be oh, happening and you don't want to be left behind. I think you're right, Pedro. There's, there's a catalyst to, 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 to each occurrence, if you mm. like. And I think with, with the chairman, whilst the sort of the Hillsborough investigations yeah, were all course. going on, it yeah. probably wasn't right. And I yeah, think yeah. the time of the AGM coming after the announcement, everything sort of moves yeah, forward yeah, like yeah. a domino effect, doesn't it? And I think that's where it is. In but time. you're right, it's always been discussed. And a few people have gone, oh, why didn't you ask Rob Elston about it when I, when I spoke yeah. to him? But it's that time and element. Yeah. At this moment in time, there's still a legislation hurdle, <laughs> and there's still a trial yeah. hurdle. So you, you're speculating yeah. about, whereas let's use the 20 minutes for what we want to see yeah, immediately. Course, yeah. But no, it, it, it is on the agenda. It's something that's coming blind. So what's, the forum. What, do you, what do you feel is the next, you know, uh, coming from the fans forum, what's yeah. the... What's the next step for you for speaking to the club or the club speaking to you about about the stadium? And what we begin to talk about is, as we, we, we just sort of mentioned a few minutes ago, around sort of getting that accessibility to people's views. We've mm. got people online. A lot of people have said, well, actually, I'm just quite happy with an email update or a newsletter or whatever else. There are the blueprints. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But again, that, that that's always a challenge, isn't yeah. it? You know, the, the most basic of design that was put in for the, uh, just p- purely for the planning permission, people go, oh, look this is what it looks like yeah. nah you'll probably find that's just a yeah, drawing yeah. to get us through the planning stages yeah the, the, some of that's along but you know the will become an inevitability as Dan begins to put ideas together and the club openly wants to begin to share those so yeah. I think we, we will be sort of asking people in the next month or so around well what do you want to do? Do you, do you want to come into Goodison and probably around some of the, the areas, maybe going into supporters clubs bases around mm. the, the Merseyside area so yeah. we can mm. position people in and have those conversations mm. to pick it up. Um, certainly speaking to Robert and, and, and a bond sort of the, the club is happy to facilitate some of them and I think probably there's some interest in maybe even Robert wants to come out and do yeah. some of them with the fan base which I think is right yeah, yeah. you know maybe not Robert maybe some of the others sort of you know uh, Rich Kenny and others I think it's around that sort of face to face contact and then obviously through yourselves as you pick up through your, through your channels mm. it's it really is in some ways the forum is, is is no more than probably a conduit yeah. to the views of you know it's not around what I think yeah, or yeah. anybody in the forum thinks. No, what we can do is go. Well, look, there's a clear movement towards that. There's a clear view on that, and take those, get answers, and be challenged. And that's what mm-hmm. we want to do is be challenged. So it's it's really setting something up whereby, without sounding slightly evasive, I think there are a number of options. We've got to find out what suits people best, and so all the feedback we can get off people, gratefully received. Yeah. I'm waiting for the monorail. No from <laughs> no from there the live birds just monorail get on there 
get Hello. off a, get off a Bramley Moor. That'll that'll do us. There's, um, a, there's a few Ibiza people on a party boat all the way yeah. down there. You know, sort of small ships. Small ships. Yeah. Small ships. Yeah. Yeah. Small ships between just, uh, the pier and yeah. that yeah. Bramley Moor. Yeah. Well, we got to keep <laughs> Jeff happy, don't we? Yeah, we got to keep Jeff happy. <laughs> in West, Dar- <laughs> uh, West West Derby. Uh, yeah. Have that land dud note to uh, to, yeah. to the good just live. Yeah, land dud note to that. Yeah, doc. Yeah. Yeah, I can live with that. You need to block the view as well from the tobacco warehouses. That's a key part as well. Oh, the view. Yeah, you can't let them see into the. Freebies dog walk. No, 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 no. <laughs> the dog walkers have got to be taken care of. There, yeah. Um, I mean, what, what, you know, just briefly on on the yeah. stadium. I and mean, what's your feelings about Goodison? I mean, what's going to be left? I with think Goodison. Speaking to Denise, who has obviously been majorly influential in what's gone on as far as community work over the years, there, there's there's a clear understanding that it, it, it won't be sold off for a car park for them across the way, as people have threatened, or you know, other bits and pieces. There, there's sort of there is a clear plan around leaving a legacy there, which will be the opportunity to keep sort of the the work that's done with the local community, with the local young people. Mm. You're still obviously going to have. Um, Sixth Form College, and that's then still there with with the Astro pitches, yeah. and so those sessions work with Everton community is still going to continue, and then they're looking at a number of areas around health and responsibility areas within that, so that the the it's not just walk away and detach yeah. yourself from L four. It's it, it's it's leaving a legacy there as well. Is is the clear indication, and I think that's something again that you know I'm sure Denise is going to be coming out and and, and seeking some more views on on her ideas, mm. her proposals, and, and measuring those against sort of what people believe is the, is the right thing to do. Because certainly it's not a case of just pack up, put the boards up, and walk away. We're not that kind of club, are we? I don't think you know. And uh, you know, the, the, with that springs some other areas. There's, there's been a lot of stuff around. Well, if I want to buy me seat, how can I buy it? You're not going to rip us off like them across the park and charge us four hundred quid for a random seat. I'm taking a spanner the last game. <laughs> buy me seat. Talk about the same. I bought that seat about twenty-seven <laughs> yeah, yeah. times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there is some of that as well. You know, yeah, it's got to be a keep? garden <laughs> with just a pitch. Just get Bob Lennon to go and mow it every now and again, so we can. Yeah, absolutely. Also, some of the there, artifacts yeah. that are around, but there, there is a lot of stuff inside Goodison that we're mm. probably going to pick up and want to move. You know, all the work that's done on the internal branding, yeah. some of that will will stay around. I think. What will happen is the <laughs> there obviously is, but is the plan <laughs> to take the 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 name, you know, the bricks with the names in and stuff like that. Is yes. that going to get incorporated yeah. in? That the Dixie Something statue, and yeah. obviously we're, we're 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 quite close to um, completing the whole Trinity statue. statue. So yeah, we're yeah. hoping that'll happen in the next couple of months with with with, with a fair wind. So obviously that'll be unveiled at Goodison, but it's clearly going to be moved down. I mean, somebody's come up with a lovely idea of the the three pillars of Bramley Moor because there are a way that we could put them onto there. So there, I'm not sure how the dynamic and the physics mm. of that works. I was I've flunked physics, so I'm not sure. But you know, they, they are certainly transferable. If you make one of those transferable, one of those yeah. towers into our. You know, into this. That'd, that'd, be, good, that'd be lovely for the <laughs> yeah. end. I'd like the uh, the nameplate thing. You know, like when you go to Disney World, yeah. and you walk up and everyone's name oh, yeah. the walkway. That's what I think we should do, and then sell yeah. off those, sell other ones for people to buy, make yeah. the club a bit more money, but also leave a legacy there on the uh, walkway. There's such a demand for it. You can have that one. Yeah. <laughs> You wouldn't believe how much you know we, we could have stole those stones so many times mm-hmm. people want to do it so there is the only problem with the floor one because we did look at that for mm. maybe a, a little bit more within the fan zone yeah. is they do wear out quite quickly yeah, yeah. so we, you know i think people want to pay a bit of money for that more Just so on the wall it. but there's wall space down there but it's something mm. we'll look at i think you know people's idea of having a little part of the ground for family reasons something close to them it's it's really pertinent so i just want to know where chang is <laughs> rest his soul. He's, he's in a box somewhere, I think. Don't be telling the kids that! <laughs> he's just <laughs> resting kids. Yeah. He's on his way back to Thailand, it's all good. A it's box, I mean, large hotel room. Large in, hotel. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Party in, though. Yeah. He's, he's chilled now, isn't he? He's, he's gone. He's got his pension, he's doing all him, right. Him and yeah. Mr. Yeah. Testicles have gone. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Remember Dixie? Uh, he's setting uh, off. He's remember set, Dixie? And they would have looked like a wobbly arms. Like a, an yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's an idea for a charity game. It's like, get all the mascots out here. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Bouncy not Mr. Testicles? <laughs> no. <laughs> you bossed enough things. <laughs> yeah. Leave that. <laughs> no answer to that one. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Someone's just going to find Changi's head and be, be <laughs> devastated. <laughs> 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 Yeah. I don't know I where they'll find you when I've watched Changi's head. Believe it or not. Yeah, it's quite sad. I could have fitted inside Changi's head. <laughs> Changi Jr. there. <laughs> um, yeah. 
some nasty rumours some players have played in Changi's feet a few yeah. times as well but never mind what rumours <laughs> <laughs> yeah what size are those yeah. shoes yeah. size yeah. in the ass yeah. <laughs> and the ass could play a runa yeah. Yeah, anyway let's move on uh, let's move on to okay, um, the, the Obviously, there's a massive demand for tickets. Oh, unbelievable, yeah. Yeah. There's, <laughs> there's massive demand for tickets this season. Um, unbelievable. Obviously, yeah. we're, t- we're talking about stadiums. I mean, yeah. we didn't talk about capacity, but I mean, no. you know, you're going to talk about that. No, no, it's just, oh. whatever Liverpool's is plus one. And plus <laughs> what, what, and long, on. Plus, they're only fifty-five. Oh, okay, then oh, whatever plus. West Ham's is plus one. Yeah, West Ham. Yeah, yeah. West Ham can't have a bigger stadium. Yeah. Dan, if you're watching, <laughs> swear West Ham. Yeah, yeah. more than um, that. So we're, we're Stay in your lane, West Ham. We're obviously yeah. struggling with capacity, and that's why um, the new members yeah, members can't. I mean, how much? How much? Involvement did you have in that in bringing in relook because that's something that Everton have tried to do on yeah. numerous occasions and this is the the latest incarnation of it. I mean, how much it was sort of done in parallel, if I'm honest with you, with with, with, with the global package which is including season tickets. Okay. A lot of feedback we've been getting for a couple of years is, is is that what was popular was the ability to pay for your season ticket over um, a longer period of time. Fourteen years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully the debt dies with yeah. you. Yeah, after happy days, but. Um, People wanted to extend that kind of thing, so it became yeah. a sort of a membership card, and we got the season tickets up to that twelve monthly mm. figure this time round, and, and, and people feel comfortable with that. So then, in parallel to that, goes well. Let's have a look at what was Evertonia. What was the value of it? Is it worthwhile? And also, got to keep it real because, in some ways, I've heard some horror stories from friends who sadly support the, the stuff across the park, and there's been stories of people with their plastic membership mm. cards and their a semi-final season ticket voucher getting cup final tickets ahead of season ticket holders a few years ago and some some shocking tales of well sell as many of them so you can shortchange other yeah. people so it had to fit into a hierarchy yeah, if you course, like yeah. without that sounding too bad but of, of well okay season tickets that and then it yeah it fits down and that's what we've tried to construct so you're right it, it was then around well how do you satisfy what's becoming a big demand for a very small amount of walk-up tickets yeah. Uh, and so that that's where it's coming. So yeah, we, we we have had a little bit of a certainly where it ranked, what it could get, but making it worthwhile. And obviously, as you say, that the, the the value of it becomes a bit more increased now because it will also give people priority to what spare season tickets become available at the end of the next current seasons at Goodison, and then also in relation to a waiting queue mm. for Bramley Moor. So I mean. This season, I mean, you, uh, if you haven't got one of them, I mean, what's the chances of getting a ticket on? Extremely limited, yeah. if I'm honest. And it, and it, and it's a shame because you know you remember the days. It's not you a shame. Woke up and get it. It's, it's not a shame at all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's a shame. I think it's absolutely right. Yeah, it's right that we sell the tickets. <laughs> it's it is that way, really. though. But uh, you know, some people who may. No, spare at the moment may want to go to the game or whatever else so can happen in both. Okay, no. less about spare. <laughs> Listen, I'll be in fun, there's no time. There's no time for spare at the moment. On. What about people who can't afford it? That's 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 one thing, right? Well, you just said sod them. No, I didn't no, let's say just sod them. I didn't say sod them. The views of Peter McPal and aren't necessarily the views of Toffee well, TV. Fifty percent shareholders. Aren't they? <laughs> uh, listen, um, I've got full views. I've got more than Machine has. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, let's get it yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, well, what I mean, what I mean no, is that we, yeah. we, we, yeah. we, as an yeah. Evertonian, you have a full stake in it, and, it, and yeah. I'm not, it's not yeah. not to do with money and who's got money. It comes down to a plas- little piece of plastic, and if. Yeah. You know, if, if someone's gone out there and bought this piece of plastic and yeah. this membership card, it, that has to, like you've just said, that yeah. has to be a hierarchy. Yeah. Listen, if I want, if I if I rock up mm-hmm. for a ticket for an, for an away game and I've only got one voucher, and I go, yeah. well, I've been I've been supporting this club yeah. for blah, blah, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, no. Someone who's been going to every away game, they deserve yeah. that ticket before me, yeah. and I fully understand no. that. No, I'm just Even saying, that. I understand what Nick's saying yeah. in terms of it's a shame because for some people. They could only maybe go to three games a season because of finances and everything. There is that historical but, element, but I, I get what you're saying. Is, don't get me wrong. I don't. I don't disagree with you. And I'm not shifting the position, but I suppose from a, over the years there has been times, as you mm. say, where people go, well, "Look, I can't afford to go, but well, we've got a bit of spare money. You could get a ticket. Yeah. You're not mm. going to be able to That's anymore. Gone, so you, you can't satisfy that. But yeah. in the grand scheme of things, no, it's fantastic. We're what, selling what, out week in week out. What if you get two yeah. people who've only been to three games, but one of them's got a membership card? See, that's the difference, isn't it? Then at the spare tickets, <laughs> I know that's what I'm saying. Membership fella, there always has to be yeah. exactly. There always yeah. has to be a you know one yeah. other reason yeah. why yeah. you know when um, you're right. No, I mean yeah. on the of course. Listen, it's fantastic yeah. to go. We've got a waiting list of yeah. 15th. Half. The other yeah. crowd have been telling us they've had a 
Yeah. You know, they still can't sell out. Yeah. But we have genuinely got a waiting list of 15,000 or whatever. And that's, I guess that's only going to increase because yeah. I think what happened, it, it, with when when the money came into the club, shall yeah. we say, or yeah. the club became yeah. free, in, in, yeah. able to do business, that piques people's interest again yeah, because you, for so long, and, and I'm one of them, yeah. you just start going and going, yeah, well, this is really probably as good as it gets. So yeah. Yeah. we can't dream because... Everyone else got more money than us, so yeah. you know, you can you fall into that, you know, yeah, particularly under the bed or what, as you just <laughs> sat there going, "Is this nearly what? finished?" Yeah, yeah, yeah Obviously, far past three. Yeah, yeah far past three. <laughs> after our ninety-seven <laughs> pass across the back foot, and obviously when far up and Shady came yeah, in and things yeah. started to change a bit, everyone yeah. starts believing again oh, with, course, because yeah. now it feels like, to me, mm. my own view, it's like it was when I was a kid again because mm. I feel as though we might actually be able to do something yeah. where for a period of time it was like, yeah, that first game of the season didn't really matter. Mm. We might win, we might get a good player who I can watch, yeah, yeah. but you don't fall in love with them because no, they no, leave, because no. we can't keep them. Can't keep and, them. and okay, yeah. Yeah. you know, someone's gone out yeah. this year who we potentially may have wanted to keep, but yeah. in general, yeah. you know, we, we've talked about it on a general level. We, mm. we spoke about Delafeu, Stones, Barkley mm. and Lukaku. Now, yeah. you said 18 months ago, yeah. they'll all be out the door. Yeah. You know, we. Sat here going, Absolutely would, yeah. We're going yeah. no now. Yeah. I don't think any of us are bothered they've gone. It's like, yeah, I'm yeah. just gonna buy him and him and him. Yeah. And everyone buys into that yes. then, yeah. hence why people want to yeah. go to match, hence yeah. why there's yeah. a clamour. Yeah. And so yeah. this is the right time, isn't it? And that's why yeah. you know it, 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 it they should be like the yeah. hottest chicken in town. Yeah, and they are. And and they are. They are. <laughs> and they, yeah. you know, I mean, Stokes already without gone. being rude, that's a, that's yeah. my analogy completely. Yeah. You know, there's many of us who go, I wouldn't open my curtains to watch Stoke City the yeah. way they play football, but it's sold out and it's sold out with them any general sale. It's sold out purely based on season tickets and the membership and cards. The membership, and yeah. that's the you know, that's what we're into now mm. and that's what people need to be aware of. Is mm. it is a little bit as you say, Pep, paid money takes your choice and you can either well, it, risk the general sale mm. or you get a membership card if you can't get a season. The other thing about it is it, you know, it's given the club food for thought for that ultimate capacity for yeah. Yeah. you know, because yeah. if you'd gone back a year or so, maybe eighteen months, if you'd said, yeah. Well, we're building a new stadium, yeah. I think 55 probably would have been nailed on, yeah. but now with all the numbers swirling around, yeah. you, there's the general, you know, that's that's telling the club, listen, we want nothing less than 60,000. Yeah. There's nothing building a stadium if it's not competing with the other clubs. No, you know, and as you, you know, Commonwealth Games, yeah. um, concerts, things that allow the, this new stadium to be to used, all, used year, all year round, yeah, income yeah, all yeah. year round, yeah. it has to be of, it has to be. You know, iconic, and that has to have a capacity that if you, that fits in, it, and that's what hopefully, sorry, that's what yeah, hopefully yeah. is the the club are being told. Yeah. Because it's all right, everyone shouting the miles off and going, yeah, yeah. we want a big stadium. Well, yeah. well you're only getting thirty five thousand every week. How yeah. dare you say that yeah, yeah, if yeah. you're not putting your money where yeah. your mouth is? So at least now, I think anyway that yeah. the the club well, are getting that feeling. If yeah. you look, you know, where this is our, you only really get the chance to do it yeah. right once you're moving yeah. grounds. You've yeah. got the chance. It's fantastic that there is this open, yeah. Yeah. you know, open dialogue, and, yeah. and we're talking about and the clamour for tickets. Yeah. Yeah. If we put, say, a sixty-one thousand, yeah. sixty-one thousand <laughs> state capacity in, yeah. Yeah. we are close to everyone who's you know around. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah. Man United the seventy-six or whatever, but yeah. fifteen thousand, okay, it's a, it's a sizable number, but yeah. you know, it, I'm the most optimistic I've ever told you. We don't need a seventy-five thousand seat of stadium. It'd be lovely if someone went. We'll do it anyway and fill it. But yeah, yeah. sixty thousand, I yeah. think now. Yeah. Like you said two or three years ago, they've gone fifty-two, fifty-five. Yeah, but, yeah. but now, no. now I think we've filled sixty thousand, yeah. sixty-one. Then we are closer to everybody yeah. around us, yeah. which enables us to compete on yeah. a better level. Which and puts it in there, and then obviously the opportunities there then for yeah. the kids to go, Absolutely. which obviously you support us of tomorrow. Yeah. You know, and that's that's how it's that, that's how it has to roll on. That's another key momentum of it. One of the things Everton's been good at is is, is pricing them for the last couple of yeah. years. Oh, yeah, and and what you do now is you know, thought the other night was spot on yeah. for that for that U European game and I think you're right, you've got sixty thousand and you start to go, Well there's 
ten thousand kids tickets and mm. that and whatever you do and that momentum brings more people yeah. so you get sixty thousand people and somebody goes well i want to go to the game and so you, you are it, bringing create it, again. It, it, it's a self-perpetuating it process that, that people will come in yeah. but you've got to have that starting point and what you don't want i wouldn't want to see is is you know you, you talk about city but they've had to break it up and yeah. build it so many times yeah. it always there's always building work it always looks as if you're, you're trying to put a finger in that hole and a thing to just mm. to, to block it and i wouldn't want to do it let, let, let's be brave and that yeah. was what i was trying to sort of get across with robert and got a feeling that he he, he gets it you know but mm. there's probably more conversation to add around it definitely and, you know, through yourselves and through others it, it's getting those views and people going well yeah I, I do want to be part of that what um just come back to the membership yeah. I mean, sure. obviously the tickets what are the other benefits of of being in it well the, the, there's obviously sort of the ability there's there's the linkage maybe to maybe not as good as yours but that sort of tv channel that everton run and whatever else well, and, it, yeah. could, it could do it a bit of a professional help <laughs> i think to be honest Lass, you know what i mean yeah. but there's sort of there's discount opportunities there's this ability to get sort of uh, discounts within the club yeah. shop and, and build up some credits within that way so it, it, it we're trying to create it a little bit as an element of, of the it, it being a, a, a like a loyalty yeah, card as well as so that card, you know yeah. people can build that up and uh, mm. get some money off shirts and make it more that possible to do that way so and then uh, but the main thing will be it's going to get you a ticket yeah do you think because i've had this yeah. i've had this to, uh, you know, directed to me do you yeah. think there could be more benefits in it for foreign fans because people have said to me they don't feel there's enough in it for foreign yeah. fans like yeah postage is the number one thing i think mm. shipping and i think maybe yeah. that's where the club could look at it yeah um because certainly at the moment we're all having these convert i mean mm. every day people send those pictures going fan heaven shit in disneyland and it's like <laughs> yes yeah. Disney. Disney. yeah no well yeah that's what i just said disneyland, disneyland. Oh, whatever Disneyland once, right? Disneyland. I've been to both. Um, anyway. well, I'll be there in a few weeks. People have said that, you know, every day it's like, I found an Everton shirt in New York, and yeah, yeah. there is this yeah. sort of. And I, I, I have had it pointed at me, because we, we, if you're an Everton fan and you live in LA, yeah. getting a ticket isn't going to be the issue. No, so no. maybe you think in the future like those, those benefits could yeah. start being pushed out to start help. Or, yeah. And I think there has been, I think people. Pe Peter Johnson the area there was a worldwide yeah. supporter club you got yeah. a certificate and a birthday card I think if I remember right but maybe there was more there could be more things for them because yeah. obviously there is an effort in USA yeah but it's it's sort of its own little thing but even though it works for the club yeah. I think maybe that's something the club needs to start looking at maybe yeah. through yourselves getting feedback from those yes. people that are actually yeah. it actually comes across because yeah. Okay, because there's no point in doing it. Exactly. Yeah. Gotta so, be a trade yeah. 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 If the fans yeah. are, if the fans over there, you know, if you said, if 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 I turn around and said, well, I'm, I live in LA and I want to, the only thing that matters to me is I want an Everton shirt. I want to represent every day. Yeah. I want to buy it because that's what yeah. they, they want to buy it from Everton. They want yeah. that loyalty. Absolutely. But if it costs me X amount to yeah. get it delivered, yeah. You know what's the point? Where is it? They bought this membership card, and at least every time they bought something from the shop, it was there was no shipping on it. Yeah, they bite your hand off. Yeah, absolutely. and I think they're the things that maybe the club needs to start looking at. Good call. Because, as I say, there's no benefit for them. No, they can get tickets if they want to come, and yeah. the rate, the rate, the chance that they're going to come, the yeah. club will look after them. We know that. Yeah. we've seen that. But maybe if there was other things yeah. that would set, you know, if we can't get a shot uh, with your local store kind of uh, Everton shirt then we'll do our very best because it's the stupid little things it's yeah. things like I ordered a shirt that doesn't fit me yeah. but I ain't sending it back because yeah. <laughs> it's going to cost me yeah. X amount to send it back yeah. then it's going to cost me yeah. X amount the amount that I see on Facebook yeah. of Evertonians in America selling shirts to each other yeah. doesn't fit me it doesn't, yeah. doesn't fit me yeah. so maybe that I think that could be an area where Everton if we can start looking after our world base because we have got fans abroad oh, let's not give yeah, ourselves yeah. Oh, yeah, and there's no yeah. problem with that yeah, yeah. you know we've, we've got fans in, we've got fans in norway yeah um <laughs> and i i think that's an area maybe the club should look at i think it's a good point it's it's something that, that was raised the other month and i think it's yeah you, you spot on it's around sort of also maybe some extra access to sort of other areas around you know extra newsletters but i think you're right it, it's that, that valuable side of things for people to you know get the discounts that make mm. it worthwhile so no it's a good point take that on board also yeah. like uh go over to America, you know, with Everton. Yeah. And let them Evertonia get the chance of me, you know, yeah. me. If they ever go stop. back. If they yeah. go back. <laughs> well, there is that, but it's Maybe should be every year. Well, yeah. 
And if there's sort of competitions as well, I think we could yeah. do more proper prizes rather than yeah. silly little bits and pieces because that probably makes it worthwhile, you know, more signed shirts, those kinds of things because mm -hmm. people live and die for them kind of things. You've so, got to get, I suppose, yeah. you've got to, you're trying to pull, like you just said, they're over there, so yeah. math tickets. Yeah, yeah. While it's fantastic for, yeah. for people who can get yeah. to it. Yeah. You know, it's not as easy to jump on no. unless you're Dave of France so yeah. years ago. Jump on a plane every yeah. other yeah. week to come <laughs> the game or whatever. So you've got to try and give them different, whether it's yeah. Yeah. extra videos for yeah. them to watch to try and make them closer to, you yeah. know, something a bit different than yeah. maybe it's a US, you know, or, or a, sorry, a, you know, a, a European or whatever, a worldwide yeah. fan yeah. TV thing. Yeah, yeah. Post, really. yeah. That's what we do anyway. We probably do. do. Yeah. But you know, um, stuff that acts yeah. behind the scenes that yeah. only they get. That's right. You know, yeah. that we're that not necessarily getting. Just yeah. giving yeah. them yeah. something. So yeah. they go, you know what? I really want. Yeah. I want to yeah. be part of that. At the end yeah. of the day, cool. it's it's something that benefits them ultimately, isn't it? Yeah. You know, yes. no. You know, we all we all feel as we're the same, and but if something doesn't benefit them, then what's the point in them buying into it? Yeah. It needs to be something that benefits them. You know, and I say, I think the big thing for them is the shirt or whatever, because mm. they all just wanna, they yeah. all just wanna wear. Honestly, they, they all just wanna wear it. They just <laughs> wanna represent. Yeah. You know, even if that's because they're surrounded by Chelsea fans or whatever, they wanna yeah. stand out, and yeah. that's the big thing. And I think yeah. so. We're, yeah, take that back, write it down. Oh, idea. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> I'll give you a credit. Give <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the copyright of a spot on. Yeah. No. Any other business? Oh, that's not that's that different. That. That's a different video. <laughs> that that's a slip on a different yeah, direction. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Although they might us. find Nazi gold when they, you know, start doing the. When uh, they dig the when they yeah. fill in the. Yeah. The lot, when I'm, I'm the dock comes They're going to find Nazi gold, a yeah. U boat, or, right. or a T Rex. <laughs> I guarantee you. Yeah, I can hope so. T Rex is coming up. Maybe that's why they. That's why they got That's why they fell in. Too slow to get off. Yeah. On the U boat. Uh, yeah, so big thanks. Is the not if they no. find the Nazi gold there? Is it ours? It's ours. Because you said unless it was Iceland. Iceland. Unless Iceland. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's okay. a different video. Come yeah. <laughs> uh, join us on Patreon for for that kind of content. <laughs> uh, do I find uh, Amelia Earhart? No, <laughs> not there. She didn't go down Liverpool, did she? Didn't land in Liverpool. Okay. Yeah, she might be. Getting, getting weird looks now. So yeah, just move on. finish uh, it. Now. Big thanks yeah. to Nick for coming in from the Everton Cheers, fans forum. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, some great discussions there on thank the on much. the new stadium. Yeah. Um, Seventy-five thousand. Uh, yeah. Five sure. guys. Five guys. Five guys. Yeah. Three. Um, three. Beer. And whatever the craft beers, I was going to say whatever the whatever the craft beer is that the beer that people are drinking yeah. at the moment. So it's <laughs> practically stubble this, Baz. Not a beer. Uh, yeah, and and well done for getting carling. Some people may say, not me, <laughs> yeah. but I just drink coffee. So. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Uh, Nick is from the Everton F Fans Forum. If you want any more details on the Everton Fans Forum, please get in touch. Check get the get membership touch. out if you're yeah. not already yeah. a member. And, oh yeah, one more thing, we didn't even mention this. <laughs> you will not get a season ticket next year yeah. if you do not have a membership card. Yeah. You will not get one. Yeah. So, there you go. So get one. So get one. There you go. We've sold it, haven't we? Yeah. What benefits Absolutely. are we getting out of this? Got the chance to, to ask Nick some. <laughs> what better to get ask some questions? Yeah, we'll, we'll do that when we close the camera down. Yeah, and yeah. get them then. <laughs> Changi's head. Yeah. Thanks for watching Top of TV. We'll see you later. Changi's in the dock. In a box. Kids are watching by. Shut up. Oh yeah. <laughs>